The Dark Souls series has changed the industry, not just because the first part was called the best game of all time. However, what about gamers who have avoided all three parts, but still crave supplements? In this video, we have collected 5 projects that are similar to Dark Souls. Thank you for watching the RTV Gaming channel and let's get started. Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice is often called from software's most hardcore game. It would seem that the developers allow gamers to run away from dangers with the help of a cat hook, deftly cut enemies on stealth and revive after death, but even this was not enough to facilitate the passage. The fact is that Sekiro, Shadows Die Twice requires the player to have the maximum skill, for example, if you do not hone your parrying skill to the ideal, some bosses will seem impassable. But parrying is the most difficult element of defense, requiring a higher reaction and an ideal understanding of the opponent's move set. Not surprisingly, this puzzled many. However, it is worth forgetting everything that Dark Souls and Bloodborne taught, and understanding what the developers want this time, how Sekiro will be revealed to the fullest. The hero will turn into a great ninja, who deftly jumps through locations, skillfully cuts out enemies and is not afraid of even the most formidable bosses. Elden Ring has become the largest and most ambitious project from From Software, which will not be easily surpassed. The open world turned out to be painfully huge, rich and diverse, the number of bosses, curious enemies and unique locations simply cannot be counted. At first glance, Elden Ring retains a souls-like foundation. The enemies are evil, you have to die often, there is only one chance to get to the place of death and return the souls, all this is familiar to connoisseurs of the genre. However, due to innovations, the novelty successfully refreshes the genre. You can move around the world on a horse potock. On the way there are outposts that can be cleared by stealth. The open world, hiding a lot of optional bosses and locations, adds interest, no one could have thought that open world would be so appropriate for souls like. Elden Ring came out as such a monumental game that it's easy to get lost in it for hundreds of hours. Not surprisingly, at its peak, 950,000 gamers played it, and 89% of the reviews are positive. The feature of Mortal Shell is that the main character is not a mighty warrior you will have to play for a spirit that will not survive even one blow. To deal with crowds of enemies, he must move into the shells of different characters and control their bodies. Each shell has its own characteristics. A balanced warrior, a rogue with low HP and high stamina, a heavy knight with cool armor, a scientist who, due to his high determination, can often use abilities. There are options for every taste, and you can change appearances regularly, the main thing is to find the body of a fallen character. Otherwise, Mortal Shell is a classic Souls-like, which, in terms of workmanship, is close to Dark Souls. The locations are beautifully drawn, the enemies are resourceful, and the graphics are not bad. The only problem is the lack of content. A gamer familiar with the genre will fly through the game in 8 hours and be surprised when they stumble upon the final credits. However, for some, a modest duration will even seem like A+. Remnant, from the ashes tells about a post-apocalyptic world in which monsters crawled out onto the streets of modern cities. There are plenty of dangerous creatures, but the hero has many opportunities to deal with them. He can shoot from different barrels, shred evil spirits with a sword, collect various builds, and even clean up locations in co-op without straining. Gamers are used to the fact that in order to play souls like together, you need to get confused. Find special consumables, look into a special place, and so on. In Remnant, from the ashes, all you need to co-op is a wish. Another feature is that the hero can fight equally effectively both at long range and at close range. At the same time, weapons change quickly, and there are many build options. However, it is worth noting that the authors still made a slightly larger bias towards action. There are frequent cases when impressive waves of opponents are lowered onto the characters, until you cut out everyone or hold out for a certain amount of time, you can't move further along the plot. Bloodborne was released back in 2015, but still holds the title of one of the best PS4 exclusives. 
But why did the creation of the great studio from software hook the community so much? Well, the advantages are countless. The concept of Bloodborne is not much different from the Dark Souls series. The hero enters a dangerous world where an ordinary enemy can easily deal a fatal blow, and bosses make you suffer. The place of souls here was taken by the echoes of blood, the fires were replaced by lamps, and the locations remained just as confusing. It would seem that all this is familiar to gamers, but there are also enough differences. First of all, Bloodborne highlights the combat system, which has become much faster. The hero did not have a shield, so he could only rely on dodges and parries with a pistol. This forced me to study the opponent's moveset even more carefully and act carefully. At the same time, aggressive style was also encouraged. For example, having lost health, it was possible to partially restore it if you immediately pounce on the enemy and take revenge on him with a couple of blows. Back in Bloodborne, the design is absolutely outstanding. The architecture of the Victorian era, the streets worked out to the smallest detail, exquisite palaces, mesmerizing views, all this can be admired. The design of ordinary enemies and bosses was also impressive. Former monster hunters who themselves became monsters, converted residents, werewolves, artsy creatures, with whom the hero had to fight. If you have a PlayStation but haven't played Bloodborne yet, try to fix this oversight as soon as possible. What souls like games would you recommend? Write in the comments. And be sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any new videos.